Okay, so let's start with the center. So I'm going to pick a two-point circle on the z-axis. So the first thing I'm going to do is to do the, the profile, and we're going to revolve it. So here I'm duplicating the inner circle, and I'm scaling it to the outer rim in order to have like the perfect size of the profile. So now with the line tool, I can draw the profile of the shape, like the main shape. And I select the profile curve, click revolve. I'm pointing from the center on the X axis and I have my main shape. Now I'm gonna remove this new shape because I know it's good. And I'm gonna trace the inside of the rim. In order to create thickness, and then we're going to revolve it again. Now that I'm happy with the overall shape, I can move on to the, the detail. So for the detail, it's um, the way I'm going to do it is going to divide the rim because you can see that the repetition of the pattern. So I'm going divide, to divide it by seven uh, to have one portion. So as you can see, you have like this triangle appears one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. But as we want also the symmetry of one part, so we have like seven parts, I'm going to divide it by 14. And you will understand why very easily. So 14. And as you can see, now I have the perfect middle, but also the middle of my part. I'm going to hide my solid right now so those things i don't need them and now i can create this piece here so i'm going to take the spin spine curve and here i'm starting in binormal so make sure to be in binormal and not anywhere else otherwise like the, the transition between the symmetry and the ori original sketch is going to be a bit weird so make sure to have this in place and then just trace the inner pattern a bit like that so now i can select those two alt x and then f and as you can see i can snap it to my curve that work as a as a symmetry axis and i can join those twos join those twos And then we're going to do the same here. Now we can cut the inside of it. So C and I'm going to cut the the inside, not the outside. So inside, just like that. So this piece, I'm keeping it. I'm just hiding it. And and then C again, and this one, like that. So before moving into the detailing part, I'm gonna check that everything works great. Okay, so you cannot cut it because it's not uh, going on every part of the model. So it doesn't really understand. So you need to really push it way further to make sure that it's going to cut. So now it can, can be cut. Same here. This one is okay because it's already in the void so rim. So let's cut also this part right so this part gonna be on this one here qq so it's merging together great so now we can run the array center and seven 
and it works. So let's try to mesh them together and we have like one solid, so it is great. So now that I know that everything works, I can start the detailing. So for this part, I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna use the untrim tool to bring back my original piece of sheet, but now it's just a sheet, so sorry, I picked the wrong one. So I'm gonna add thickness to the sheet in this direction. And then I'm going to slightly push it inside. So we have some interesting things. So somewhere like this. And then we're going to reduce the thickness of it. Okay. And then I'm going to cut it, as you can see, it's like finishing a bit more higher than the inner circle. So I'm going to create a new circle. I'm going to finish it here. And then I just have to cut it like that. So this one goes off, this one too. And now I can fill it so these two piece, selecting this one, Q, this one, right click, and we have the inner detail. So I'm going to run the fillet over just to make things even more smoother, just like that. And the detail is here. Okay, so now we can just reduplicate it and then array. So we we have a little problem here because I forgot to do the symmetry. So let's do symmetry. Let's do the symmetry again. So it's gonna be very quick. Take this piece, C, this one, cut, this one, this one, X, F, center here. Pick both, Q, Q. Oops, a bit, a bit too fast. Okay. And do the radial array again. Oops. And now we have a nice trim. So again, I'm going to start from the center and then I'm going to create this circle here, then here. So now I can move those two curves to adjust the depth and then with the two selected I can then loft them and as you can see it's kind of finishing at one fifth so yeah like somewhere here and then this one will be like snapped to the to the edge here So let me do it again. Okay, just like that. So now, actually the inside is not like perfectly straight. So we're gonna need to give uh, plasticity information about this uh, profile. So I'm gonna isolate the selection and then I'm gonna use the line tool. And from the middle, So 
and snap it to the curve and this one too so for the so for the inside curl we can snap the line to the to both of the to both we can snap the line to the curves each point to the curves and then shift s to subdivide and then we can adjust the curve of our fillet and then i can just sweep it using this curve as a reference so i'm speeding up a bit the video here so it's the same process i'm duplicating the the radius and then lofting all the curves to create the volume of the trim after all i've been after all i've been after everything else when everything is done i just move on to the next step which is going to be the little bolt around the trim so here i'm repeating the same process i'm just going to focus on this part of the trim and then i'm going to duplicate it around the center just like we did for the pattern For this last step, which is going to be the tire, I'm redoing the same process. I'm going to use the profile of the tire and then I'm going to revolve it around the trim. For the pattern of the tire, I'm starting with a sketch and then I'm going to imprint on the tire. I'm doing it to keep the curvature of the tire. Duplicate the face, thicken the sheet and then array it around the tire. Now we're good for the boolean to curve the pattern. I'm now repeating the same process on the other side. There's still a few things to tweak, like the gap between the tire and the trim at, in the back. Overall, the modeling is finished. In the next step, I will show you how to import it in Blender and add a camera animation.